Okay, my worry is, um, let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm probably a day late, a dollar short, but let's talk about it. Today we're going to talk about exes. When a couple breaks up and they might have had a lot of time invested, why do they always keep their nose in the ex's business? So let's give it two names. We're going to call X number one, um, which is the female. We're going to call her Savannah. And we're going to call the guy X number two. We're going to call him Georgia. And we're going to call the new girl in Georgia's life. Um, Atlanta. <laughs> That's cool, ain't it? So, for example, I'm going to give you a scenario. Why does, it's really not a scenario, but it can be. So let me give you the scenario first and then do the why do. Why do. But Atlanta and Georgia are doing well, no problems. You know, they're making their relationship work. They don't have ups and downs, but they're making it work. Why does everything, something pops up. Every time something pops up, Savannah has to text, call, have somebody deliver the message to Georgia. Oh, this is wrong. This is not right. You know, this has to be fixed. This is done. Oh, I got this. I got that. Um, meaning that these things have to do with both of them at one time, but now it has to do with one of them. But because Savannah was the one that was dealing with all of the business perspective, um, she always get the message. And it's like she wants to make Atlanta looks like she's not doing her job right financially between her and Georgia. And I'm just using that scenario because I see it in everyday life that girls that are no longer with that guy. Let me close my door because I can hear it when I stop talking. But um, when g girls are no longer with that guy, to me it feels like they're trying to get back in by making the new girl look like she's not doing everything she was supposed to do. And even if that's not the case all the time, that the person is just being nice, you know, say it in a better way. Listen, you know, I got a phone call or let's say a text. I got a text message from, um, mm, let's say I got a text message from, uh, let's say the dry cleaners. I'm just going to use that. The dry cleaners that we both share and apparently... No, that wouldn't even make sense. Let's change it from the dry cleans. We got to have it something personal. I have a text message from the bank. And they say that you are overdrawn. Okay. Why do the man just believe exactly what she say instead of picking up the phone, calling the bank? Listen, was there an overdrawn? Oh, yes, it was an overdrawn, but it was the bank's fault. So we corrected it. Now somebody's here. He's going to get a letter in the mail stating that. She don't have to run. Because what it does is it cause problems. And I'm using these scenarios because I don't want to tell anybody business. But the thing is, men, when you start dating a new woman, trust that new woman. If that's your new wife, trust her. Because you know what? You got the old wife is going to sit there and she's going to try. She's already upset because you're not with her no longer. 
and she may use the children for example to get you to communicate with her and cause problems with your new wife so my thing is when you become someone ex any documents or anything needs to become X as well. If y'all got bank accounts together, cut them off. If y'all got a mortgage together, find a way for only one person to deal with it. Like if it's a mortgage together and neither one of you are living there, one of y'all take control. If it's a mortgage together and you, the X man is living there, then you need to take total control. The ex don't not need to be in the picture for any reason. Because that person is an ex for a reason. If things were perfect with you all, then you would still be with that person. But if things wasn't perfect for whatever reason, and y'all decide to go your own ways, then it's an ex for a reason. So y'all need to cut the ex off. And if y'all going to communicate... And it's in regards to the children, then let it be in regards to the children. But when you got the one person who's responsible for everything, let that person be responsible. Because that's what's going on in our society today. It causes so much problems. Because I'm going to even put another example in there. Okay, you have, if you watch, it's called Love in Huntsville. It starts back over Saturday. The new series, Saturday. You have Kimmy on there. Kimmy and her husband. I can't think of her husband's name right now. I mostly know the girl's name because uh, that's who you be paying attention to. But Kimmy's husband is... Um, okay, I just got a text and it kind of caught my attention. So let's go. Kimmy's husband was married to someone, had kids from her. I'm going to think they was married. Yeah, they was married had, and I had a son. And it's like the ex-wife make Kimmy look bad every chance she get. That's what it seemed like. Because she's making it seem like Kimmy was the cause of their relationship to go bad. But the relationship was sour before Kimmy. Kimmy just happened to come in his life when he was had already filed for a divorce, waiting for everything to go through. So the ex, even though she has somebody, she just do not want him in reality to have someone. And that is the problem that we have with society today. Too many exes is still in their ex business. Cut it off. You don't need to be in my business if we're not together. Are my exes in my business? Hmm, no. Because the point is, it's a done deal with us. So there's no reason for my ex to be sniffing their nose in my business. Like my kids of the same father, you hear me say that I have three kids by the same man. I have one child by my ex-husband. So my three kids of the same father, when my baby girl became 18... Then he didn't have to give me child support no more. But until she turned 18, uh, until she got out of school, he had to give me child support until she got out of school. Because she was between me and her brother. So, after she got out of school, then me and him, there was no reason for us to communicate. The only time I communicated with him was when something happened with my baby girl. Um, was in the hospital and she needed her dad I communicated with him then when his daughters needed money to pay their bills because he got two girls the baby girl and the oldest girl needed money to pay their rent for that particular month they needed a little help that time and then the other time is when I was had Miss C. Thane bothering me, and I was in the hospital because of Miss C. Thane. I had told him, it's funny. I had said, you know I don't like you, <laughs> or something like that. And I know it probably caught him by surprise. 
But I was like, I just need you to be there for your kids if something happened to me. Because like I've told in previous videos, you will see when I ended up with Miss C thing, it was a lot on me. It caused me a lot of problems with breathing. And now today, I limp on one leg because of that situation. And I'm assuming I probably had a stroke. So when I have find, when I find time and opportunity, oh, excuse me, to where I can get them to explain or check me to see if I had a stroke and did that cause this leg to do what it do, then I'll do it. For now, I just got to work hard and just try to balance myself because it do make me lose my balance. So, that's the only time I talk to my ex. Now, my oldest sons, I don't know if that's my boo thing or not, but he'll call me. My oldest son's um, father, I don't really talk to him at all. Only time he have called me one time is because he didn't he want me to take my child support, but no, baby. My oldest son is 30. Okay, he's turning 30. No, I'm still going to get my child support. And what? Okay. Hello. 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 You going to run me my money because I took care of my son. So... That's the only type of communication need to be taught. You don't, I mean, that's why I say whenever y'all find a way to make it work, cut ties between each other. If y'all got documents or homes, properties and stuff. Now, I do see the person who, re, she redo her, her name is Christina. I think she redo homes and stuff. He and her, her and her husband still work together. But to me, they got a better relationship because it's business work only because she has a man. <laughs> So, that's why I'm saying the best thing to do is cut ties with a person, move on, do you, they do them. Because the, the, the new girl, Miss Atlanta, she's in the middle. She's looking like, you know, I did take care of that. But what, what? He's believing this person because, you know, they're supposed to be a good person. Yeah, I'm going to have to end this video. It's supposed to be a good person, but because of, you know, the person, you know, not believing in his new woman 100%, he's going to believe what the other person says sometimes because the other person got the document. But then when they call and say, oh, no, you good, then he's looking stupid inside. Because he's like, dang, I should have trusted my woman, my new woman, not my old woman. So, guys, I'm going to end this video because um, my boo thing, I believe, is here. And I'm going to call him and let him know where I'm at. So, if you enjoy just sitting here chit-chatting, let's talk about it with Miss Trezina. We're going to start back doing them every Thursday. Give it a big thumbs up. If you are not a warrior yet, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Then hit the notification button to be notified of all videos along with share this video. Let them know what your girl is doing. I want to say so much. Thanks for watching. Later.